do not be afraid. Why might that be the most frequent message in all the Bible, Old Testament and New? Maybe because we as the people of God are so afraid. We are so nervous. We are so worrisome. Our hearts are so troubled by the things that we don't know, by the things that we cannot control. Fear freezes us. Worry makes us wring our hands. And anxiety hinders whatever progress we can make. And as we read on in the Bible, this is nothing God wants for us. God wants us to be free from fear. God wants us to put our hope, our trust, and our faith in him. And Jesus, the Son of God, calls us into the world to spread a message of good news. The good news that we are loved, forgiven, and free. To be clear, fear is a human emotion. We all feel it. Even Jesus felt it at least once. Remember the story of the Garden of Gethsemane? He was fearful, but he never let himself be led by fear. He never let himself be mastered by fear. And if Jesus was never led or mastered by fear, then we, as his followers, never should be led or mastered by fear. Brothers and sisters, we must never let fear get in the way. We must never let fear impede us from doing what God calls us to do, to love one another. As society reopens, we rely on the guidance of experts to help us protect what we as Christians see as the most important value, human life. Many questions have come up about what next school year might look like. Will it be more distance learning? Will the students and faculty be able to return to campus? Might it be a hybrid of the two, online learning and on-site learning? We are hard at work to answer these questions. And I assure you that we are committed to being well prepared with the highest levels of confidence and competence to continue the mission of San Ignatius High School, prioritizing the safety of all of our students, faculty, and staff, and charging on with our mission to form and educate young men to know, love, and serve Jesus Christ. During these weeks and months of school closure, I am proud to say that we have kept all of our faculty and staff employed. I'm very proud of that because it represents what we are as an Ignatian institution. We value all of our employees for who they are and for all they do to accomplish our mission. We also created the San Ignatius Family Tuition Relief Program, a program devised to assist those San Ignatius families who have been financially impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. All of this in concert with our mission. The school year has ended. The summer months have come. May summer be for you and all of your loved ones a time of refreshment and rest. May it be a time also when you and I can lay aside our fears, our troubled hearts, May it be a time to recommit ourselves to our faith in God. May the summer bring us to a time when we are ready to start a new academic year with hope, with trust, and with good faith. God bless you all.